we have a book type, let's add a second GraphQL object type of type author. Const author type. It's very similar to what we have in the book. Author type. It's very similar to a book type, so I'm gonna simply copy paste what I already have. Author, we have an ID, we have a name, uh, and we have a rating for uh, such author. The name is a string, that is a, is a string, and the rating is a graph QL int. Now we give this author type. We're going to give it to the our root query. We need to inform the root query about this other root type. So inside the root query fields after books, we're going to add author of type author type arcs. We have the ID which again is of type GraphQL string, but we're gonna change this um, later when I explain other types. The resolve function is going to be very similar, parent and takes an ID, which is what we're going to pass through the query. It's going to return authors dot filter author it's uh, an array that I made it available I prepared uh, earlier so that it's just some fake data before we actually hook in a database so authors a dot id is equal to id and we want to return the first one. So now we defined it, the route query, everything stays the same. If we go back to our GraphQL, we're going to see that our root query has actually changed and we can actually provide, I can actually change this and say author instead of title name and uh, rating. The beautiful thing about GraphQL is that now I can do in a single query, I have a, a book ID of one ID and uh, title and it's going to return it. I don't need to do any, any changes. If I want to adjust the name, if I want to adjust the name of the author, if I want to adjust the ID of the book, we don't need to change the backend at all. Everything is handled, we do a request and everything is going to, to be done for us. Now, as you know, now we need to link up the author and the book. And how do we do this? Well, let's go back to our definition of a, of a book. We can take the fields and we can add uh, the author field of type uh, author type, which is what we defined earlier. And the resolve function now is going to take parent and arcs. Now, if you look at my schema that I've added in books initially, I added this parameter called author ID, which is the foreign key to go from a book to an author. So what is going to happen now that in my parent, I'm going to get, is the parent is essentially the, the book that is currently being resolved and the parent contains the author ID. So I can actually get the author ID from the parent. And with this one, I can actually use it to filter the book and get the author as well. 
So to resolve the author, how do you do? Return authors dot filter is essentially the same function that we already wrote before. Later, all of this is going to be moved to a real database. So yeah, it's just some dummy, uh, dummy functions. A dot id is equal to parent dot author id. And we're going to return the first one because, well, it's not a list. A book has just, for now, just one author. And we defined all of this. We don't need to make any other, any further changes. We go back to Firefox, root query, book as an author. And so what I can do, book ID number one, I can say title, and now I can query the author, and I can query the ID, the name, and the rating of the author. So book number one, made by somebody, book number two, And this is how you link a parent, an object with this subtype without any further due. This is very different from um, the classic GraphQL, uh, from the classic REST API. REST API equivalent would be endpoint endpoint slash books slash id and then the second endpoint because in here I can actually return the idea yes of course I can make it uh, an API that is going to return the book and the author but then maybe I don't need the author and it's going to give me more payload while with the GraphQL you get it's much more uh, flexible in the implementation and uh, well it's faster with this is finished uh, the second lesson and if you guys enjoyed uh, this video please leave a, a thumbs up and subscribe for the next video in which I'm going to continue talking about this. Bye!